Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing Lesson 11.2 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. Lesson 11.2 is called Degrees and it's teaching us how to determine the degree of an angle in a circle. If you're in my class, you should be filling out page 423 with me as we go through this video. So I'm just going to go through answering these questions and then I'm going to um, sort of review in general how you would find the degree measurement of an angle in the circle. So I already told you in lesson 11.1 .1 that the entire circle is 360 degrees. So if you were going to split that in half, meaning half the circle was colored in, it would be 180 degrees. And then if you were to split that into fourths, each fourth would be worth 90 degrees. But unfortunately, these circle problems that you're going to have are not going to be simply just 360 or 180 or 90 degrees. They're going to be different and you're going to have to figure out what they are. You may have a protractor which will uh, tell you the exact degree amount if you line the lines up on the protractor correctly, but they may just tell you a fraction and you'll have to find it out from a fraction. So that's the example here that we're dealing with for number one. It says find the measure of the angle and it's talking about the picture right here. Through what fraction of the circle does the angle turn? So that's just asking us what's the fraction that's colored in and that would be one third of this circle is colored in. So remember I told you that the whole circle is worth 360 degrees. So we have to do this problem one third equals how many 360 is? So how many degrees out of the 360? So this goes back to what we learned about finding um, the equivalent fractions. So we're going to do the same kind of math to solve this problem. So we're asking ourselves 3 times what gives us 360. The way that I do that is I make it a little bit easier on myself and I say 3 times what gives me 36. If I counted by 3 12 times I would get 36 and then I just add the zero back on. So it's really 3 times 120 that would give me 360. And we know that whatever math we do to the bottom, we also have to do to the top. So 1 times 120 is 120. So this fraction of the circle is 120 degrees. So whatever your numerator is, when you figure it out, whatever the numerator is, that's going to be how many degrees your angle is. All right, let's try another one. They may show it to you like this, number two. They may show you already, and this is a little bit hard to see on my paper, this says 45 360 ths they already basically gave us the answer because like what I just said, whatever the numerator is on top of 360, that's going to be how many degrees it is. So the answer to number two is just simply 45. They've already done the measuring for us. So whatever the numerator is, as long as the denominator is 360, that's your degree measurement. So same thing for number um, three. It says that that degree angle, that the angle that they colored in is 1 12th. Well, we've got to change our 1 12th into something over 360 degrees because the circle is worth 360 degrees. So I ask myself 12 times what gives me 36? 12 times 3 gives me 36. And then I have to make sure that this zero that I left off, I add back up here. So this angle, 1 12th, is worth 30 degrees. The numerator is my answer, 30 degrees. Okay, so this one down here, number four, it goes all the way around. They've colored in the entire circle. And this, this fraction right here says 360 over 360. 
that's easy. The whole thing's colored in, so that one is 360 degrees. Okay, number five is one-tenth. They say one-tenth of it's colored in. So I've got to ask myself, what do I multiply by 10 to get 360? So I'm going to look at just this part right here. And I'm going to say, I'm going to cut off this zero and cut off this zero. And that leaves me 1 times what gives me 36. And the answer is just simply 36. So that 1 tenth is worth 36 degrees. Okay, here's a little bit different. We're going to classify these angles. We're going to write if they're acute, obtuse, or right, or straight. Acute, the definition for acute is less than 90 degrees. The definition for obtuse is greater than 90, but less than 180. The definition for a right is exactly 90 degrees. And the definition for a straight is exactly 180 degrees. So I can go ahead and look here at number 9. I see that this says 180 degrees, so this is going to be a straight angle. And we can see it kind of looks straight. Okay, and then number 7, it's got this little tiny box down here that tells us it's 90 degrees. So I know that is a right angle. And now for the these others, number 6 and number 8, I can kind of tell from looking at them because we did so much of this in chapter 10 that I don't even need to know the degree measure to tell you what these are classified as. But if I'm strictly using the degree measure, like if I didn't have the angle drawn on there and they just told me 177 or 127 degrees, I would know 127 is greater than 90 but less than 180, so that one is an obtuse. And then for number 8, number 8 says 37 degrees. If I didn't have the picture, I just had the degrees, 37, I would know that that's less than 90, so that's going to be an acute angle. All right, the last part down here, we're supposed to classify the triangles by writing acute, obtuse, or right. And this is kind of going back to chapter 10 as well, where we learned what the um, how to classify these triangles. So if there is at least one 90 degree angle in there, that's going to be a right triangle. Now these have all three angles less than 90. So that's going to be an acute triangle. And then the last one, this has at least one obtuse. The others are acute, but we, if we have even just one obtuse, it's called an obtuse triangle. So that's obtuse. So just to review, for less than 11.2, you're going to be doing two different things. You're going to be classifying angles or triangles, and you're going to be determining the measure of angles. So you're going to have to tell how many degrees an angle is by changing it from its fraction into degrees. All right, if you were in my class, you should have filled out page 423. And if you have any questions, leave me a message. Thanks.